Um, and speaking of Monster Hunter and DLC, I mean, we've got yeah the trailer for yeah. the obvious. You know, Marvel vs. Capcom's Infinite showed off uh, the Monster Hunter girl and. Congratulations, this character looks like the entire budget of the game put into one character. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to talk about Infinite a little bit because this character trailer and the, the character videos and people putting it out bears legitimate discussion. Okay, so you don't know almost anything about Monster Hunter Wooly, right? No. But you can tell at a glance that they actually put a lot of love into this character's moveset. It is that- absurd <laughs> how much is going on with the character. It's between how many weapons uh, she's switching between, between how much she's wearing. Every single one of those swings, by right? the way, is, she's, is a swing. It's like it's like the first time you saw Dante. Yes, right? it is exactly like and that. And you go, oh my god, they gave him everything? And it's like, yes, we gave him everything. The ori- you, you, so, you see that? That, the that armored sh- uh, sword swing? Yeah. yeah, that's something she doesn't currently have in existing games, but will have in Soon. World. Soon, okay. <laughs> like, it's kind of insane, because, yeah, the first time you saw Dante in Marvel 3, it was a moment, because yeah. you like it was like, holy shit. It's like, shit. they can never live up to what this character can do, right? Just, Dante does too much! And it's like, oh, nope. They, they, they did all of it. They, and so for... We gave him 80 moves. And so for the Monster Hunter, they gave her uh, the great sword, the dual blades, and the bow. Which are more weapons than I expected her to have. And she has all sorts of shit. She has her power shots for the bow. She has she has a command roll that works like Monster Hunter, right? That super that she does, it's called the Demon Dance, where she puts the, the, she the two the swords, swords around. Together. Yeah. She when she's glowing like that, as long as she keeps her stamina, she gets a superior dash, which she retains in Marvel Infinite. And the, yeah, and there's a really good roll forward and back that yeah. she has like command and thing. And during her her fucking super where she plants the bomb, you know that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how she does like a huge long Live, Superman dive? dive? Yeah. That's the invincible Superman dive when you're running away from damage. And okay, lots of, like, okay. Just like so much work put into this character. Now you're saying that not only like her armor, but like even the face and model yeah, she, are she like... Yeah, she looks just like a Monster Hunter 3 character. The, with There's exact hairstyles that you can yeah, do she, to make that. That looks like a character you can make. You can make, okay. And she's wearing, using the Golden Blade and the Bracadios dual swords and the fucking Tigrex like uh, bow. And you can you can tell them at a glance... And so, hey, Wooly, here's how much detail has gone into that character compared to the rest of the cast. You know that at the end of her dual sword combo, there's an explosion? I didn't notice, but Okay, sure. so at the end of her dual sword level one super, she does a big slash and there's an explosion. Yeah. The reason for that is, is because the dual swords she's using have the slime attribute, and slime builds up on a monster until it explodes after enough hits. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So she's building up, and it goes from green to orange to red, and then it hits Jesus red, and she does the big Christ. final slash, and that's why there's an explosion. <sighs> why is there so much? So I love the, the, this character. This is a great fucking character. Why is there so much work put into this, and not other? Why characters? is there so much work put into Abigail, Minot, and Ed? It's weird. It's weird, dude. Compared to the main game, it's weird. It's almost like it's being built by someone else. She is so. F- Far advanced comp- in 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 visual, like her textures are better on the model. Her now, model has is more detailed. Now the question is is just that like is this like a pre- was this a pre- preemptive sort of oh fuck we got to make up for it right? It could be, but I'll stand by the statement I've I've made and I, I I forgot to say earlier in the show, but I said every other time is that I think the state of infinite will be saved by the DLC. I don't and when I say that, I mean by the end of all the DLC, <laughs> when every character is out, there will be enough interesting things going on with the game that you would have treated it like any other interesting release. I think that the fact that a lot of that's going to be DLC is going to hurt it. Oh, it will, because people are going to have to shell out because for either the season pass so or whatever. So I'm going to wait until it's completely done to get it, but if she was part of the base roster, I'd be playing the game right now. Because here's the other part about her now, that besides all that crazy shit you just talked about... She has more moves than almost anyone besides Dante. Mm-hmm. She has, fi- I think, five supers. Oh, yeah. And it's like no one has that level of options or whatever, and they just put so much into making her a faithful character that it, it like if that's an indication of where you're planning to go Because here's the thing. This DLC, I, I theorycrafted this character like, that's incredible. like five years ago, right? When Marvel 3 was out or whenever. I'm talking to some friends. I'm like, okay, let's say they make a Monster Hunter character because we want a Monster Hunter character. What would they do? Well, first, th- first problem is what weapon do you give them? They solve that fucking all problem. Of, all of them. They Three of 14, but still, that's a lot. 
right? Mm. And they're different types. There's a fast one, slow one, a range one. Yeah. Okay. Well, what would their supers be? It's like, oh, well, just give them five. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, how would you how would you put the weirder stuff, like the barrel bombs in? Well, I guess you'd make a super that incorporates them. It's it's Yeah. It's the- it's so impressive as to be disappointing. This <laughs> it's is so weird. This is the KOF twelve. And there's a 13 on the horizon. On the, on the horizon. Please look forward to Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Yeah, I guess. Which is a weird name, or whatever it would be called. Marvel vs. Capcom. Double in, Infinite. Infinity. Um, in, 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 um, infinity plus one. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom plus Ultra. And of, course, and, Ultra. and of course, she's wearing the Rathalos set because that's the most famous set. It's uh, the Rathalos is the 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 boss, the final boss of Monster Hunter One. Cool. So, so, so she's new game plus in. No, but what it means is that he's he's the he's the the flagship of the series mm. instead of any particular game. And they went with a lady Monster Hunter probably because there's so few chicks on the cast, but also the male version of that armor covers the face. Yeah, it uh, has a really cool visor, but. Yeah. So that's that's a really nice uh, like thing, and like uh, I hope you can keep it up. You know what, Willie? I got something else for you. Her her alternate colors, her two her player two color are different suits of armor. No, her player two color is that in turquoise. Okay. Or azure. Sure. Guess what? That's the azure Rathalos set. <laughs> okay. It's a subspecies. So that's another. It's yeah. a tougher. So like. Down to that, yeah. Like, yeah. fuck, you know. Or so much there. So you know what it also could be is that whoever, someone on the team, is the biggest Monster Hunter Mark in the world. You mean at Capcom? Someone yeah. in there? Because yeah, in the same way that it like Utsuno is the biggest DMC Mark, mm-hmm. and that's why like everything from DMC three is like done with so much love. Yeah, well, could, could be that. Could be. I hear Capcom might have a Monster Hunter fan or two. I I believe. Could you imagine? I could. That'd be crazy. 